In this video, we would say how to partition a disk using parted command and how to use the corresponding partitions in Linux. In the diagram, we have a disk. We will create multiple partitions of this disk using parted command. So for this video, we will consider three types of partitions, generic Linux partition, Linux web partition and Linux LVM partition. Once the partitions are created, we will try to format the partitions and we will try to mount them on particular directories in the file system. Let us start. Now I have logged into your Linux terminal. We can verify what are the devices available in this machine. So here we can see that there are three devices, SDA, SDB and SDC. So out of these three devices, SDA and SDB are already partitioned, means we have created partitions for SDA and SDB devices. So we have not created any partitions for SDC. So in this video, we will use this SDC for creating the partitions. So here we will use parted command. So let me execute parted command here. So it is using SDA as the default one. We can print all the partitions available for this device using print command. Here we can see that there are two partitions per SDA device. So now to create the partitions for SDC, we have to select this device. For that we have to use select command. So we have to specify the device here. Now we have selected SDC device. We can print the partitions for this device. So here it is not showing any partitions because we have not done partitioning for this device. Before partitioning, let us try to check what are all the subcommands available for this parted command. So we can verify with help command here. These are all the subcommands of parted command. So here we have already used the select option for selecting a particular device and we have seen how to use print for printing the partitions. We have some other commands like make label, make part and set etc. Here we will use make part for creating a partition. So before creating the partition, so we have to attach the partition table for the device. So for that we have to use make label command. So before creating the partitions, so let us try to understand what we are trying to do here. So here we have a disk size of almost 15 GB. Out of 15 GB, we will try to create three partitions. One is generic Linux partition of size 4 GB and LVM partition of 3 GB and swap partition of 2 GB. The partitions are of two types generally. One is primary and second is extended. Generally primary partitions are used to install operating systems etc. And second type of partition is extended partition. Extended partition is a group of other logical partitions. So when we create extended partition, we can create a group of logical partitions. So in this video, we will create extended partition. Then we will create a group of logical partitions containing the Linux generic partition, LVM partition and swap partition. So now let us create the partitions. So before creating the partition, we need to attach the partition table. So for that we have to use mklabel command. So when we execute this mklabel command, we have different types of label types. So we can see more options using help command. So here we can see the label type is one of all these types. So there are different types of partition tables like GPT, MS-DOS, etc. If you use GPT, all the partitions will be of primary type. So for creating the extended partition, I am using MS-DOS type. So now let us attach this label. So now this label is attached. So now we can print the information about this device using print command. So now let us create the partitions. So for that we have to use make partition. So here we have to provide the type. This will start from 0 and it will be 15 GB. So here we have to ignore this. So now we can print the information. So now we can see that the partition is starting from 512 bytes to 15 GB. The total size is 15 GB and it is of extended type. So now let us create three logical partitions which are part of this extended partition. So here we need to specify logical. So I am using the type as ext4. Start will be 0 bytes. So here I am creating 4 GB partition. So now we can print the partitions. So out of this 15 GB, 4 GB is assigned to the first logical partition. Similarly, we can create other two partitions.
So we can print again. Similarly, we can create the third partition as well. So here I will give Linux swap as the type. It will start from 7 GB. So here we are assigning 2 GB for this partition. So we can print again. So now we can see that we have created three logical partitions which are part of this extended partition. So now we have created all the three partitions. So the partition number 5 is a generic partition. So now we have to set this partition number 6 to LVM partition. So for that we have to use set command. We can get more information using help command. So for partition 6, we will set the flag as LVM. So we need to execute set. So we have to provide the number here 6 and this should be LVM and the state should be on. So here we can see the flag as LVM. So now our partitions are ready. Let us use these partitions now. So let us start with Linux partition now. So we can see the partitions with lsblk command. So now we have to use all these three partitions. So for the Linux partition we have to use sdc5. So let us format this partition with ext4 file system. So for that we have to use mkfs. So we have to select ext4. So here we have provided sdc5. So from the result we can see that the formatting is completed. So now we can mount this formatted partition on a particular directory in the file system. So for that let me create a directory. So now I have created a mount point here. So let me mount this sdc file on this app file. So now the mount is completed. Let us verify with df command. Now we can see that there is an entry corresponding to opt app file. The size is almost 4 GB. So now we have mounted the Linux partition. Now let us work on the LVM partition. So using LVM partition, we have to create a physical volume. And using this, we can create a volume group, which is the group of multiple logical volumes. That means once the volume group is created, we can create the number of logical volumes as per the requirement. Once the logical volume is created, each logical volume will be formatted with a file system and we can mount that formatted partition on a particular directory in the file system. So for this we have to use sdc6. So let us create a physical volume for this sdc6. For that let me use pvcreate command. So now we have successfully created a physical volume. So using this physical volume we have to create logical volumes. So before creating the logical volumes we have to create the volume group. So for creating the volume group we have to use vzcreate command. We have to provide the name here. So here we need to mention corresponding physical volume. So now we can see that we have a volume group. So now let us create a logical volume out of this group. So for that we have to use lv create command. So let me specify the size 100 MB for this volume. And after that we need to specify the name. So then we need to specify the volume group. So here we are creating a logical volume out of this volume group. The logical volume size will be 100 MB. So now we can see a logical volume is created. So now this logical volume needs to be formatted with the file system. So before that let us execute lsblk again. So now we can see a logical volume under sdc6. We can also display the logical volumes using lv display command. So here we need to specify the volume group. So this is the logical volume path. So let us format this logical volume using mkfs command. So I will use ext4. So now we have formatted the logical volume successfully. So now we need to mount this formatted volume to a particular directory on the file system. So for that let me create a new directory. So let us mount now using mount command. So the mount is completed. Let us verify it. An entry corresponding to opt app 6 and this is our logical volume. And we can see the size almost 100 GB. So this way we can create logical volume from the partition. 
and we can mount them on a particular directory or file system. So now we have completed the Linux and Linux LVM partitions. So now let us use the swap partition. Let me execute lsblk again. So here we will use this hdc7 as the swap partition. So for making this as a swap partition, so we need to format this with swap mkswap command. So now this partition is formatted with swap. So before enabling this swap, so before enabling this swap space, let us check the free swap in our machine. So now we can see 6 GB. So let us enable the swap. So now we have enabled the swap on the SDC7 partition. So let us re-verify the Linux swap in this machine. Now we can see the swap is increased by almost 2 GB. So in this video, we have seen how to partition a disk using parted command and how to format these partitions with a particular file system and how to use that formatted partitions in Linux. So we have considered three types of partitions here, the Linux partition, Linux web partition and Linux LVM partition. I hope this video will help you. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.